from the shot clock. For Paul Tuckett! After two halves, three overtimes, and nearly three and a half hours of gameplay, the Friars came out victorious over the Xavier Musketeers 99-92 to in triple overtime. Jared Bynum scored 27 points, but none were bigger than his game-sealing three-pointer in the final minute of the third overtime. It was yet another special night for Coach Cooley's team. When you have an older group, you have a determined group, and you have a group that is constantly, constantly, constantly doubted, constantly talking about the hill to climb. What you can never do is, is underestimate the, the fight in a, in a group of young men, especially a group of older men that are trying to prove something, whether it's luck, I just think it's incredible perseverance and will and want. And we're really, really fortunate in lucky games. Lucky games, I'm saying, lucky games. But that luck better come from somewhere. It's called talent. Lucky to see America, I and mean, everybody's saying that. So, uh, you know, I'll be lucky any time of the day if you win like this. This is one of the most worthy tournament teams I've ever been a part of in my 28 years of coaching. This is a really, really special group, and these guys deserve a lot of credit for their perseverance and their will and want. While it's a team full of older guys, it was one of the younger guys in the rotation, Alan Bree, who stepped in and made some of the biggest shots of the night. I just stayed ready. Man. I know how important this game was and how bad the team wanted to win tonight. So I just stayed ready. And when my coach called on me, I just went out there and I got the job done, did the best I could. It was uh, big. I mean, I told I told Alan in the huddle, I said, this is where you grow up. I said that to him three times, and I'm very proud of him for making those uh, big time shots. You know, because we see potential, and he's, he's got great potential, and I think he's going to be a uh, really good part. And I think it's a credit to him just staying in the moment, and we talk about that all the time. You never know when your number's going to be called. Anything could happen. He worried about the one he missed. I said, hey, we couldn't get to that point without the five you made. So, I mean, for him to have that and then, you know, playing off of two feet, getting a floater in the lane um, and not playing uh, the, basically all the regulation for the middle thing, I think it's I think it's a credit to his emotional and mental toughness. So I always just tell myself when I go there, like, don't even worry about it. Just make the shot. That is nothing but a mid-range. That's why I tell all my teammates when I go there. So I told myself the same thing. That was the longest game the Providence Friars have played since January 28th, 1982. That was a five overtime affair against the Dayton Flyers. With 13 Big East wins, it's the most conference wins in program history. And finally, the stage is set for Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. against Creighton. With a win, the Friars win the regular season Big East title for the first time in program history. That's your post-game recap. For PC Friars MVB, I'm Nick Rojas. We'll see you Saturday night.